G'day, fellas, and welcome. This is your first look at the Ottomans. We are about to dive into just an AI game and learn together as we work out exactly what the best way is for us to go about playing as the Ottomans. So, what do we know? Well, the Ottoman army can expand to dominate the battlefield supported by military schools that are able to continuously produce units to swell the ranks of their formations. Supporting those formations, the Meta War Drums signal the highly trained troops to take situational advantage. It is a two-star difficulty civilization, and the bonuses are as follows. Training units and advancing the ages grant experience towards Vizier points. The higher cost of the action, the more experience is earned. Gain up to five Vizier points and spend them to unlock powerful, unique Ottoman bonuses. Military schools can produce units continuously at no cost. Influence from blacksmiths and universities provide increased military units production speed after each age up. Interesting. Genissary hand cannon unit is available in the castle age, able to repair siege engines. Oh my god, no way. Oh my god. Meta war drummer enhances the attack and defenses of nearby military units. We know that one. Field the great bombard siege engine with longer range or oh, longer range and area damage. Produce the grand galley ship that can convert into a floating military school. Wow. Okay, movement speed of trade ships and transport ships increase and cannot harvest the boar. Interesting. All right, so we're going to jump in. I'm going to put the AI on easy. I'm going to make sure that everything I'm going we'll just put uh we'll put it on revealed. Uh, you know, we'll go we'll go explored. I'm feeling explored. And you you guys know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn on cheats. And uh I mean, if we're playing the Ottomans, we got to play them in the green. Other than that, I think we're good to go. All right. So, we're going to start off just very slowly. We're just going to be exploring the civilization. Uh, and we're going to be looking at, the, at things like their tech trees. But the most important thing that we're going to be looking at are what's unique to them as a civilization. What is the big selling point for them? So we dive in and already I'm wondering where my textures are at. Hold on a minute. <laughs> what graphic settings have I got on right now? It says they're on high. I, I looked at the roof of that and I'm like, yo, uh, what... What did you guys make your roofs out of? Because it kind of looks to me like you forgot to texture them a little bit. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching Wham stream right now. Sorry, Wham. I love you. All right. Well, we got... Oh, now, by the way, they are using the English voices. You guys may have missed that. They, the, the voices are still placeholder. All right. So just just, just calm down. Readera. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yaru. Yeah, yeah, I'm your worker. I'm your worker. Okay. So. What have we got to start off? So over here, Vizier. Earn up to five Vizier points to spend on unlocking powerful, unique bonuses. Experience is gained by training units and advance into the next stage. The higher the cost of the units, the action, the more experience is earned. Click to open the Vizier panel and spend your... Oh my lord. Okay, here it is. So these are the nine unique techs. So I don't know what these are. So... Oh my... Oh my... Oh my... Oh, I'm getting all giddy. All right. Okay, okay. Field work. Spawn two Imams at the landmark town center. Imams area heal... Nearby units, they area heal. Oh my god, they AOE heal. Meta drums. Spawn one meta at the landmark town center. Metas increase movement speed to units in the same formation by 15%. Anatolian hills. Spawn eight sheep at the landmark town center and increase villager mining speed by 10%. Oh. Military campus increase military schools that can be built by plus one. Allow all siege engines to be garrisoned by... Garrisoned by infantry? Oh, oh! While garrison attack and setup speed is increased by 25%. Oh, damn! Siege crews! Oh, that's legit, dude! Okay, so you could put, like, your spearmen in as siege crews. Enemy runs in, you bam, pop them out. All right, train bags. Oh, my God. Increases the amount of gold traders collect by 40%. Fast training. Increases production of military schools by 25%. This, this was my suspicion. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be this one here plus this one here. Now, we can see this also requires... So, it says requirement Vizier points. Vizier points, Vizier points. Oh, let's let's get through all of them first. All right. Sorry, guys. Spawn two Janissaries for each of your military schools at the landmark town center. Wow. And outfit military schools with the ability to produce knights and Janissaries. I love it. Oh my lord, I love it. Okay. All right, so these are just like... I, I, I think I could probably spawn these bad boys right now. Uh, now, 
I'm gonna try doing this correctly. Oh, can, can I just start by doing this? Yo! Give me my taunts! Okay, smorgasbord. Progression stop for achievements, masteries, and challenges after cheats have been used. Okay, so we've used the cheat. Uh, we haven't even looked at the landmarks yet. We're gonna look at them right now. So we got two. Twin Menema Minaret Madresa acts as a mill. Grows four berry bushes, which can be harvested 50% faster. Berry bushes are regrown after 120 seconds if depleted. Oof. Okay, so the big thing here, already you can see, you know, it's going to be about making sure all of your villagers uh, are on the same berry bush because you want them to deplete it as quickly as possible so that it can regrow back as quickly as, it, as possible. Then we have the Sultan Hani trade market, which acts as a market, comes with tr two traders garrisoned, and generates 28 gold per minute for each one. Up to six traders can be garrisoned. So it's basically a relic. Hold on. 28 gold per minute for each one. So it's 56. So you can have a total of 168 gold a minute coming through from Sultani Trade Network. 168 gold a minute. That's decent. God, both of these landmarks are so good. You could go like the Sultani Trade Network and you could combine it with like this early sheep research or vizier that would be sick okay so vizier points uh so how much does our unique military school cost oh shit it costs stone oh get out of here it costs stone i did not expect that okay okay oh that's expensive oh that's so expensive all right so let's just drop down we're just going to drop down a barracks for now Okay, I, I just want to see, work out how many Vizier points. So we've got 0 out of 60 at the moment. So let's think, or let, let's, I guess. Oh my god! <laughs> There's a... Okay, okay. Spearman. Let's get some spears out. It's got, I got rally points. And then I want you guys, <laughs> and then I want you to attack here. And then I want you to build a farm. Oh my god, and it's colored beautiful. Oh my god, dude. I can cry, dude. It's so good. And the spearman came out of the... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. We went up two vizier points. Vizier points. So, just making the military units is worth two points. Okay, all right, all right. let's make houses instead. So, you, oh, and this little line here is indicating how far through we are on the vizier points. Now, when we advance through the age, we're also going to be getting points as well. So, let's let's stop training units for now. Actually, let's not stop training units for now. I just I want to confirm some stuff with the military school. So we're going to drop that bad. We're going to drop that bad boy down. Look how big he is as well. Military school, you four by four bugger. You much you you much bigger, much brighter and bolder than those barracks, aren't you? Okay, so we got some spears out. All right. So we got nine spears out, so we should have 18 vizier points. We do. Wonderful. Military school comes up. And it's automatically just training a spearman. So we can't train any other units, which was to be expected. And so now we're going to go up to the next age. So we've got the twin minaret madressa, uh, which, by the way, it would absolutely be perfect. I don't know. I don't know. It'd be kind of crazy to do it. But you, you can you can suspect people are going to be putting these bad boys, you know, here... Uh, it, it acts as a mill, so you got to remember that. So this is a pretty decent spot here, but obviously it's in the front of my base. Makes it a little bit less safe. So you, you know what? Maybe you'd want it, like, right here, just next to the town center. That way, like, you basically got villagers that can never be killed uh, underneath here. Oh, my lord, that's training fast. Oh, my lord, that is training fast. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so we've got, I think, one of those that we can make in the Dark Age. Influence. Military unit production rate increased by increased 25, 33, 40 by, by age. While within the influence of a blacksmith or university, the Istanbul Observatory increases the bonus to 60%. That's this one, right? Uh, this one? Nope. No, that's just faster training. Okay. All right. So Spearman from here takes a minute and seven seconds, it looked like. Maybe a minute and six seconds. Uh, so compare that to 15 seconds. So it, it, it trains about four times slower, but it does come out for free. So essentially what my theory is, is that you're going to see players, when they're aging up, they're going to be looking to gather up the resources in the transition period to get the military school down. So as soon as they age up, they're able to uh, begin training Sabahi immediately 
uh, from their, you know, from their respective, or from their military school and do that for free. Now, we don't know how much the Sapahi costs yet. Yes, uh, now, keep in mind, at any point in time, we're going to be able to go into the tech tree and jump in and have a look if we want to, okay? But we're just we're just exploring this slowly. We're just trying to understand. Now, we're obviously going to go through and do this again uh, with the... Um, with the... Uh, sorry. Uh, with the other landmarks. Okay, so it acts as a mill. So we've got access to all of our techs here. It also spawns in the one berry bush. It's only 175, though. Okay, so it's only 175, so we can get... Okay, there's a second berry bush that just came in now. I don't know how to track this. Oh, but we did age up. How much... So... Is that giving... Oh, this oh, this gives us Vizzy air points as well. Okay, so just pause for a second, pause for a second. We have 37 Vizzy air points. If we have 37 Vizzy air points... Um... I'm just, I'm just thinking, okay. 37 Vizzy air points. 11. So 11, 22. So you get 15 for an age up. And so now we would switch it to Sapahi. Oh, it takes so long. A minute and 46. A minute 45. How about... Oh my god, you can train Meta. Archer? How long How long does it take to train Archer? 107. 107. 147. 2 and 5. So you definitely want it on Sepahi. And then as soon as you get to the next age as well, you want to drop down another military school if possible. So you have two, two military schools going at the same time. And I, I think the big thing, right, is that you just want to avoid dying. But this is expensive. That's the thing to remember, right? Like, this is exp This is basically a town center. Realistically, I mean, I, I've spent 300 wood and 200 stone. It's, you know, 400 wood and 300 stone. It, it's 100 shy of each one of those things. So it, it's, a, it's a massive investment to be doing this. All right, so let's take a look now at... We're, we're going to drop this down. Oh, you can see the, the range here of the blacksmith. So, blacksmith. So, all you need is that one tile. And it will give that. It's not like the Delhi network influence either. Hey, don't don't kill my sheep. Uh, now, we're going to keep making spears just to get the, our vizier points up. Actually, I wonder... Do, do our... Forgetting techs. Do our techs go up? So, here we can see... So it increases influence by 25, 33, 40%. Now, does that work for the existing one? I wonder. Let's have a look and see. Down to 125. So you really want to get that blacksmith early, which is going to promote you to get your upgrades early as well. Uh, are we missing an upgrade? Oh, yeah, we, we're missing the military academy. So we're sitting on, at the moment, uh, a total of 37 out of 60 when this comes out does it is it 38 or 39 i think it will still be 38 oh no it'll go to 39 rather oh 41 oh, oh it's a meta wait why did i train a meta what the hell i th I, th I thought i trained a sapahi i'm pretty sure i trained a sapahi didn't i hey what are you what are you doing here get out of here drummer man <laughs> that was four i'm pretty sure that was four uh how do i check hold on hover over that 41. Yeah, that went up by... F that went up to 4. Alright. Well, we there's no doubt about it. We are now training the Sapahi from here. Uh, I'm not sure why the meta came out. Otherwise, I may have just found a, bu a bug. So, we can see that he's buffing up the units in the region here. Increasing their attack speed by 15%. Now, what kind of difference does that make? So, this guy is no longer doing stabbies. He's stabbing every 1.88 seconds. Whereas, this guy is stabbing every 1.64 seconds. All right, we're about to... So that should go from 41 to 45 here. Just because it's a bit more expensive. 44. So it went to 3. So this is our Sipahi. Which is the horseman replacement. With a 1.88 movement speed. Now we can also increase... Oh my god, increase by 2? Oh my lord, that's a lot. 
Dude, these guys are busted. And then it increases the ranged armor by one. Dude, I have my hand on my head right now. Fortitude. Gain 50% attack speed and receive 50% damage from melee weapons. Oh, it's not spearmen. It's all melee weapons. Oh, this is dangerous then. This is very, very dangerous. 50% attack speed. So 1.75. So it goes to like 1.25. Oh, it's an actual... F no way. Dude, that's not 50% attack speed. That's 100% attack speed. That's bugged. It's bugged. Don't tell the devs. It's bugged. Unless it's just... To gain 50% attack speed, it means it doesn't mean doubling. It means you're getting like a third extra. It's like a half extra, actually, Drongo. You dig it? Okay, but they take extra damage. Okay, okay. Wow. All right. So you can already see the way that they're incentivizing this. So the idea is that you, you would want to go for double military school very early with a blacksmith. And you're going to be able to just, just kind of stay in your base here with, with your landmarks. Now, we can see the, these berry bushes have all rebuilt uh, or, or respawned. But look at this one here. This one hasn't respawned since since the very beginning. And so you're essential, essentially losing uh, from that because your bushes uh, sh will be respawning. Berry bushes are regrown after 120 seconds if depleted. Now, I don't know how quickly that, that depletes. You can see these guys these guys aren't even moving as well. What's our face, eh? The fact that they're not even moving means that wheelbarrow is not as good on this civilization. Just because the food sources... Like, look, look at that. It's literally just dropping off right there. So when this runs out, I don't think it's going to immediately replace the berry bush. I think it will take 120 seconds to replace this berry bush. And because of that, you want to make sure you exhaust all, all of these berry bushes first. Like, it should be your 100% priority as soon as they come up. To just do it now it, it, people are probably going to work out like the optimal numbers of villages here yeah, there's going to be different sure. considerations you know like your horticulture consideration your wheelbarrow consideration all that sort of thing but anyway i mean i'm pretty happy oh actually you know what i'm not happy with yet uh we need to just do a one of these bad boys and also let's throw down one of these bad boys here i don't think we've got anything else that we need to really see it looks like they're just using the chinese walls um yeah, nothing else in here, really. Uh, now, I'm just curious what the cost is of the Sapahi. Uh, and the meta should also be in here. So the meta is 180. So very expensive unit. Doesn't tra doesn't take very long to train. Only 100, or only 22 seconds. Uh, and the Sapahi is 110 and 20. So a little bit more expensive uh, than your standard horseman. Uh, but the key difference here is that, uh, obviously, you've, uh, you've got that ability to attack super duper fast. I'm just, I'm very curious though. Let's see, let's see how much I get destroyed here. So if I charge these guys here, I'm going to get shredded. Oh my God, I'm going to get absolutely shredded. Run, run away, Johnny. I mean, they still attack incredibly fast. Look how fast they stab. It's, it, it's going to be really important to time this one. Okay, we're almost at that Vizier point. And our archer obviously just costs the same. Uh, so you got to one of the, the key factors here that is incredibly strong for this civilization that I, I want to highlight as our English units that aren't really English have a victory. Food is the name of the game. Well, technically Age of Empires 4 is the name of the game, but the biggest thing that would determine the strength of a civilization is reliability of food. For the Ottomans, food seems incredibly easy to obtain. Why is that? Well, first and foremost, you have Twin Minaret and Madressa. Second thing is you've got these two bad boys right here. You're getting free food every time the Sabahi trains. It's 110 free food. 110 free food that you don't have to gather. You get it for free. You paid wood, you paid stone, and now you, you slowly tick those bad boys in. And it means that you can focus your collection efforts on your wood line, on your wood line. You focus on making arches. Meanwhile, these guys, these guys will make the cavalry. That's why it's so strong. Let's take a look at our next landmark. We'll grab these villages. So we've got the... Oh, hold on, hold on. Before we do, before we do. We've got our Imperial Council, ladies and gentlemen. Spawn to Imams at the, the landmark town center. So I can get this in the second age. Spawn one meta. Meta's 
increase movement speed to units in the same formation by 15%. Spawn eight sheeps. Eight sheep. Oh my god, I want all of these. Okay. I kind of want field work, but I also want meta drums just to test the formation. Yeah, all right, we did meta drums. Okay, so now now it should be providing. So we can make it attack, uh, uh, provide attack speed. So they're not in the same... Oh my god, the meta's so fast, dude. Oh my god, he runs as fast as a horseman. Why is that not buffing them up? Oh, it's buffing them now. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're so fast, dude. It's like I'm playing Mongols. Gas, gas, gas. Okay, now, can I have a limit? Do I have a limit on meta? Can I just make as many metas as I want? I guess so. So it means that I can, like, potentially just look to, like, raid my enemy at lightning speed. Stab, stab, stab. Dive the town center. Which, by the way, I can, like, go in, attack the villagers out on the, the, the deer here. And when I eventually start taking fire from the town center, switch it over to range defense drums instead. And then that immediately gives me plus one range defense so that I take one less damage on the arrow. And then, of course, because I've got the blacksmith early uh, to, to, de or to provide me a little bit more, uh, a little bit more faster uh, training time here. It means I'm going to be researching plus one ranged attack. These units are insane on the raid side. And then, of course, once you get in there, you're popping off fortitude. So you're attacking super duper fast. Now, it seems like you're, you, uh, you lose this bonus unless you're actually in the aura. Once you're in the, or in the formation, once you're in the formation, you're fine. So this guy here, he's not in the formation. He's still got it. He oh, doesn't have it anymore. 1.88. Whereas these guys do have it. 2.16. So you actually have to run them in the formation. You can see that we're catching up to him so quickly. And now I've regrouped him. He, he regains the buff. But I'm curious at, to what point that that buff can actually be transferred. If we just group all these guys together, call them Control 1, you can see he's still in the group. But does he get the buff? Well, this guy has got the buff. This guy doesn't? No, this guy does have the buff. This guy doesn't. So not only do they need to be in the same group, in the same formation, but they actually need to be near each other. So you can't just wall in a meta and group everything with it if you were thinking about doing that. All right. I'm, I'm just going to... I'm Hold on. Oh, that's what I wanted to check. Does technology uh, contribute here? So we've got some techs here. This is a quick tech. 15 seconds on this bad boy. So technology... Uh, I believe technology does also contribute experience here. So we've got 69 points at the moment out of 80. Nice. Uh, let's take a look and see. No, it doesn't. Your upgrade doesn't. Uh, but we might be able to... Maybe survival techniques is treated differently. That's actually insane. Plus four ranged armor. Plus four ranged armor? The, the, it's basically a knight. It's, an, it's, a, it's a French knight. All right, so we've got the other, next upgrade coming through. So we're at 76 at the moment. There are units still training. 120 or well, zero out of 120. Okay, it's still zero. Okay, so, oh, so now we can get our next tech, even though we're in the feudal age. Increase military schools that can be built by plus one. Allow siege engines. So we're going to go for military campus, of course. Get our, our next military school down. Let's drop that bad boy down, but we're also going to make sure we get our next landmark. Istanbul Imperial Palace. Double the Imperial Council experience around the landmark and increase the Vizier point limit by plus two. Okay. So that means that all these buildings that are producing double up the amount of... They double up the amount that they're, uh, they give. So when, when I create a meta and it gives four, that actually becomes eight. And it also increases the... Uh, the Vizier point limit by by two. 
So it could you could technically say it's a late game tech, but to be honest, I don't know if there's an, there's really much that scales late game here for for the Ottomans. So you can outfit military schools with the ability to produce knights and janissaries. Obviously, that's good. Spawn two gens. It's not really that good. It's kind of like it's a, you know you're defending and you need the. I mean, this is really good like early imperial. If you if if you can just get or, 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 the sooner you can get to this, the better it is, right? You're really gonna do it like that. Get him, boys. Get him, boys. Look at the meta, dude. The meta is so fast. Look, he he kind of looks like a Khan. He's just like beating his drum ferociously. He's like, all right. Oh my, I, I literally have 14 metas. Who made 14 metas and didn't tell me? Get him, boys. Now, can we have multiple people tooting different drums? Understood. This guy's got attack bonus. Oh, that guy had range bonus. Because he's doing the range drum. That's it. Well, the meta didn't work that as well as I thought it would. I love that I can pop this out over on this side of the building as well. Oh my lord, it's so nice. Uh, okay, so the, the other landmark is the Mehmed Imperial Academy. Produces siege engines for free, but with a long... Oh my god, it produces siege engines for free? This civilization gets everything for free, dude. What the f... Doubles the Imperial Council experience around the landmark and increase the Vizier point limit by two. This is good, but I like this. That's kind of what... And by the way, music on fucking point, as usual. As per usual, no surprises there. So when we get up to the castle age, we can start training crossbows, men at arms. To be honest, this is me being honest. You guys know I like to be honest. I'd probably still do horsemen. Horsemen are just so good. Dude. And, or rather, Sapahi. Yeah. They're 110 yeah. food, right? And like, the more food that you've got, the better. Or like, the more food that you're using, the better. I'm, I'm absolutely in awe at this civilization. I'm loving it so much. It, ju it just feels like such a safe civ. Can you imagine going double TC with this, like this landmark here? Just free, free berries. I w and someone's going to do the math here. This is going to work out to like four or five villages on farms just for the rest of the game. And, and it's faster as well. I don't even know what the gather rate is, but it's, it's faster. We know that much. By the way, my base layout, not the best. I do apologize to all my base building boys out there and girls and MBs. I know you guys are out there building bases as well. Don't worry. All right, Metas, get over here. Oh, God. I just hit control shift A and my game just froze. Oh, God. Well, that that's going to have to... Uh, <laughs> that's going to have to get blurred. We're going to have to blur that. All right, control shift A did not work. All right, we're going we're gonna to start that one back up again. Give me uh <laughs> give me a gentle moment, fellas. Okay, we might have to how do I speed that up any faster? That's the question, right? Uh w this is the game's a work in progress, guys. Remember, work in progress, work in progress. Uh cheats allowed. Explore the map. Let's display player score as well, just so we know how good we are. All right, we're jumping back in. Cancel, cancel. Start in age two. Uh, that way we can just start building that landmark straight away again. That was my bad. I shouldn't have used a hotkey. Uh, I've learned my lesson. I'll make sure that I... Uh, I'll make sure that I don't make that mistake again. Control shift A. Let it be heard here. Oh man, that sucks. I was having fun. I guess this gives me an opportunity to create a, a greater base. Small gas board. Boom. Drongo used cheats. All right, so we're going to go for this landmark now. See, that looks textured. That that town center roof looks textured. The other one didn't. It kind of looked... I, I think they may have forgotten the textures on it. I think. All right, so while that builds... Uh, do I just edit this here? And w with my powers combined... What's that? Right, we're back. And I worked out in the break, villagers also provide you vizier points. They give you two each. That's poggers. All right, we're in the castle age. 
we're here. And now we can choose out our, our... Ooh, yeah, baby, give it to me. We can choose our free technology. Now, this is, I'm assuming, affected by the blacksmith. What needeth be? So we're gonna get the manganel out. Oh, let's check the farms, actually. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Oh, damn, girl. I like that. Okay, so... We can make one of these every age. So that's the three. Now, it's a new game, so we don't have the ability to make the fourth one yet. So we're going to make mangonels. Uh, now we, let's go Imperial. So that's, that landmark, I mean, it's not meh, but it's kind of like, eh. You know, it, it's very simple. Seagate Castle. Dude, it's the Seagate Castle. You know, I, I heard that the the Marlians get the Western Digital Keep, and it's going to be legit. Okay, uh, Istanbul Observatory acts as a university, improves the influence provided by the university and blacksmith. Oh my lord, dude, I just realized, I think the... the oh, this is the landmark, dude. Remember, I, I pointed at this, I'm like, this is the one where it's... uh, th This is where you spend your Vizier points. It's not, dude, it's actually a landmark. So it acts as a university, improves the influence provided by the university and blacksmith to 60%. So I think at the moment it's 40% in Imperial. Or the Seagate Castle, which acts as a keep. All keeps gain an aura that increase trader and trade ship movement speed by 40% and 10 armor. Wow, okay. So you can really see that there's a couple, there's different avenues that you can go here. So, we, you know, we got to go for this, the Istanbul Observatory. Observatory. They do farm wheat. Uh, we're going to get everybody on crossbows. Crossbows, please, everyone. Thank you very much. How long do they take to train? Oh, oh my God, they're so... Oh, because uh, I got the blacksmith. I was like, what the, what the hell? Manganel's out. Vizier. You have to spend your first point on the first row. You have to. Well, we did the meta already. Let's do some field work. Oh my god. Can these guys take sacred sites in this? No, surely not. But you could put them out on relics though. Oh, that's legit. Oh, oh, that's legit actually. So you're in the in the feudal age. You get this. Go up to the castle age. Bam, bam. Relic, relic. Hmm. I like that. Oh, damn, girl. Hey, the, the minimap's different, isn't it? Look how small the, um... Oh, am I playing on Gigantic or something? Oh, I think I'm playing on Gigantic. Never mind. For a second there, I got excited. I'm like, oh, damn. This gold mine is looking small. All right, Istanbul Observatory is up. Siege crew is coming in. Oh, I forgot to check uh, our, our Janissaries, actually. I totally forgot. So Janissary. Oh, that's expensive. Sixty food, a hundred gold. What? So now I'm more incentivized to do trade if I want to go Genesis. They do have an upgrade which increases gun damage as well. Let's check and see when this is when this comes in. This could be an age three upgrade. It's an imperial age upgrade, Genesis guns. And they do also get an elite upgrade. They will also be affected by your chemistry upgrades as well. And they will also be... Hold on. 16... 16 ranged damage. 16 versus cavalry. Holy shit. They're a Corollian. They counter... 
cavalry at range. Okay, and so... Now it goes to 20. So the hand cannon is not that good. Receives plus 50% ranged damage. Light gunpowder infantry. So that means range damage, so crossbows. So a crossbow would do 80 damage to them. Well, they're not very good in the meta at the moment. They, these slot into the meta very well right now, I, I feel. Okay, let's get the big boy out. Largest cannon that can be fielded. Excellent against buildings or groups of targets. High damage, area ra damage, long range, must be set up to fire. When Janissary guns came through. We got 20 plus 3. Commander, mate. That should take us, yeah, 28 damage now. So that's compared to the 42 damage of a normal hand cannon with chemistry. So, oh, hold on. Patch job. Repair damaged siege engines at half the speed of a villager. Fuck, these mangonels come out, don't they? Like, when we've been sitting here, they've just been popping out non-stop. Alright, what else have we got? For each of your military schools at the landmark town center. Outfits military schools with the ability to produce knights and janissaries. And then you get this, you probably want this on janissaries just because of the the high cost of gold in a late game. It's training one every 115. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, isn't it? Commander May. Is there... Let's go attack the boar. I want to just go attack the boar. I know it's going to be loud, guys. I'm sorry. I just want to see if it's an area here. There's no way for us to... Hold on. I thought the boar got removed from the map. I was like, they actually did it? Oh, yeah. Surely not. Okay. Let's see if it's AOA. So loud, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't heal, don't heal. Oh, oh. Alright, so these guys come out here. Yo, Janissaries, get him. Oh, look, they're healing. Oh, it is AoE healing. It's legit AoE healing while they're moving as well. Dude, that's busted. That's insane. Does that mean can all imams do that, or is it just these ones? This guy got pretty low. They make imams, so it's got to be all imams. So like it unlocks the ability to do. AOE? Yeah, I think it just unlocks the ability to do an AOE heal. This is so good. Because it... I, I wonder if they stack. No, they wouldn't stack. Oh my god, what if they stack? Oh my god, what if they stack? What if I have 40 imams and you can't kill my units? Range 11 tiles. This is the longest- oh my- oh my god, look at the damage it does. Big boy, I need a bit of help. See you, man. <laughs> See you, buddy. Okay, let, let's do like a bit of an attack ground right there.
Okay. That looks good. So now I put this in here. I can't actually see how much damage it does because it's garrison inside. So siege crews. When garrison attack and setup speed is increased by 25%. So it just increases my attack speed by 25%. And my setup speed. That makes it very quick to set up, actually. Yeah, noticeably. Oh my lord, I'm getting excited. God, look at the amount of fucking damage that thing does. Alright, where's my imams? Did I not make imams? Yo, get out here, boys. Alright, well, I think that pretty much well does. I mean, let, let's just... I just want to go back in and check the other Age 1 landmark that they've got access to. Indeed, it was a gigantic map. Oh, I, I accidentally made it Age 2. I want Age 1. We make it easy so that the AI doesn't bother us as much. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's try and change the color to green. We got teal, that's pretty good. That's a, that's an S tier color. Okay, so the other landmark, Smorgasbord. It is the Sultani Trade Network. So the developers were using some sort of shenanigans to give us videos that had both of these landmarks. Yeah, yeah. You guys remember I made that video? I'm like, yo, it doesn't make sense because they got this landmark and this landmark and they're in the same screen. And we know that they're both going to be feudal age landmarks, but they're right next to each other. But, uh... Obviously the developers, they've got a little bit of magic up their sleeves. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so this landmark here is the landmark that enables you. So I, I guess I should probably explain what it's doing. So it acts as a market. It comes with two traders already garrisoned and generates 28 gold per minute for each one. Up to six traders can be garrisoned. So why is this strong? Well, let's say as an example, I, I want to do trade, all right? Because I'm a trader. I like trading. You guys like trading? I like trading. Everyone likes trading. But your enemy starts attacking you. So what do you do with all the traders that are in your base that are just... You know, they can't do trades anymore. Well, the Sultan, the Sultanani Trade Network has got great news for you. So already garrisoned. So what do I do? As soon as I age up, pop them out. Boom. Over here. Let's go, boys. There you go. So that that's, that's how we begin it. Now, remember, traders have also been buffed as well, which buffs this up. So we're going to stack four of these guys inside it for now. Uh, and we're also going to be going up with the Istanbul Imperial Academy. I think that's what it's called. Imperial Palace. So you you can do some big booms right here. No, not like this. Not like this. Oh, not like this. Okay, so we're just going to garrison these ones inside. So caravans are coming back. 42 gold. So th th this is not good gold. Okay, this is this is not a good amount of gold. Uh, but if if we were to put a market down here instead, we might actually be able, be able to get some good gold. Did this spawn gigantic again? I think it did. Let's move these guys back for now. Because I want to set my home market to this one. Uh, W, I think it is. Yeah, W. Okay. It's not yet built. So 
So this could very much be like a viable opening, right? Because now you actually have a response to an enemy who looks to to harm you. O obviously, if, if they're harming your, your trade, it's not good, but you've got a fallback. Yes, sir. Especially on maps that might not even have like a good trading option. Okay, so we're setting our home market to here. And we're going to go to this one. So before it was 42. And now it's going to jump up to like 100 plus. 122. So ju just by putting the market down in the back corner. So all of a sudden. You've, you've got a huge amount of gold. Now, you'd obviously want these traders out trading on this back line if, if, if you've got a good trade like this. Like, this is this is a good trade. Um, but if you don't have access to that, it makes it a lot more difficult to justify... Or rather, it, it makes it more easy to justify just keeping your guys inside, the, the, uh, in, inside of here. Because you can see them trickling in gold right now. Each one is trickling in gold. At least I think that's the way it works. Actually, we might want to just double check this. Let, let's just make make sure. Actually, you guys get in. I like that they can garrison inside and then just... So it's meant to be 28 gold a minute. So 56 for two, uh, which means 150 for three plus the 18 168 so that should go up to 168 gold a minute now the istanbul imperial palace uh so actions that generate imperial council experience is doubled around the landmark i feel like this landmark's probably not going to be that good actually no you get the extra two points right you didn't have access to that before but then i mean it's like whoop de doo like an extra eight sheep and 10 percent mining speed it's nice, don't get me wrong, but is it big? Eight sheep, 2,000 food? Yeah, it's a lot. That's that's like an equivalent of a boar, right? Under In your base, for free. I wouldn't be surprised if this actually becomes overpowered. Well, not overpowered, but like the, the standard that people go for. Then the meta. All three of these are really good. Or trade bags, actually. We, we need to get trade bags going. Okay, so what did we say? It should be 168. 168 a minute. Cool. Uh, so we're just going to pop a couple of these out. Just to get some metas out. Because we need to get trade bags in. Uh, and then we should also look to go up to the next age. So we're going to be going with the Sea Gate Castle. Because that's going to increase the movement speed. So it says all keeps gain an aura that increases trader and trade ship movement speed by 40% and armor by 10%. So I, I guess like for the Ottomans, trade could become a huge point in the late game that your enemy would look to try and contest you over. So I guess one of the things that you could do is just put... I'm assuming that that aura is like your trader aura. So you'd want this defending, like, typically enemy enemies are going to be looking to attack one of two points. So your first one is uh, your the neutral market, and the second one is your own, or rather the neutral trading post. The second one is the uh, the new, yeah the neutral trading post, and then your market. So maybe you could look to like put this on top like that. That way, that's going to protect that protects you from being attacked here. And then perhaps you've got a keep, which is also going to provide that aura. So maybe you could do something like dropping the keep there and then stonewalling off across there. And then that keep is going to be protecting your trade line. And so the theme of the game here is just to constantly uh, be getting traders out nonstop. I'm doing metas because they, they train very fast. Uh, and actually, they're not training fast, are they? Because we don't have a damn blacksmith. Actually, does the blacksmith do... I don't think it does, does it? I thought it was 22 seconds. Maybe I got the other tech. Okay, well, the Imperial Age landmark's coming up now. Alright, so let's get these bad boys out. So we're going to set the home market down here gonna put them over onto this position 
We can probably even do the same thing here, right? So what we'd do is take the Sultani Trade Network, right click here, and then right click to this. And then we put the traders in queue. Now they don't get cheaper traders. They don't get cooler traders. They just get traders like everybody else. Okay, so now we've got it. So we can now increase the amount of tra gold traders collect by 40%. Now, does this work on the fly? Or do you have to wait for the pickup to occur and then it comes through? Let's find out. All right, these guys have now picked up 122. And now we're going to get this one. Still 122. All still 122. So now I'm going to come back in, go again. So it goes from 122. So 40% of 122, uh, you should be up about 45. Uh, so it should be uh, right now 167. 171. Not bad at all. And so now we can look to try and put more... And I, I guess this is where it starts to get quite interesting, right? Because what you can do is you, you can make it so that your keeps in the back of your base are providing those auras, but they're also doubling up as, like, defending villagers. So when you drop down your mills, you know, you'll have... Okay, that was absolutely terrible. Let's try that again. That's much better. So it has to be on the actual... On the mill. But then this keep's going to provide the aura... This one does as well. And I mean, realistically, you've basically just got three keeps that will cover the entire trade route. And now you've got traders that are bringing in a huge amount of gold. So there's definitely an element of like, of, of trade being good. And then you've also got, was there another trade one in here? I don't know if there was. I, don't, I think that was it. So Landmark is about to come up now. The Seagate Castle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the home of Seagate. It is the Seagate Castle. I, I feel like doing the, just the, your classic broadcast. All right, look at him go. Look at him go. Oh my God. 1.4. Yo, can we get the meta out here as well? I don't think so. 10 ranged, 10 melee. That's some good armor right there. That's some juicy AF armor. So if I put the keep down... Okay, now it shows. So it's just to this side of the stone mine. And it lingers. Oh my god, it lingers for so long. Oh my lord, it lingers for so long. Bro, this keep could literally just be... That's it, man. Look how fast they go. Oh, for 20 seconds. Oh my god, it's for 20 seconds. It's like Yam Network used to be. Bro, you just put a keep down in the middle. As long as they're picking up double doubles, you're fine. Mm, that's insane. And then that that powers your Genissary economy in the late game. Ready to go. Alright, so let's summarize. Let's jump out. Oh, we didn't check their wonder. Oh, let's check their wonder. Let's just check their wonder just quickly, just quickly. Just quickly. Just quickly, I just want to see what the wonder looks like. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Azur Mosque. Oh, we've already seen it. <laughs> it's just the blue mosque. Alright, we jump back in. Okay, so... Let's talk about what we think, what, what the direction of... Oh. Oh. No, thank you. I'm good. Uh, oh, the flags are different. Okay, so what, what do we think the direction of the Ottomans is going to be? I'm, I'm going to do just like one, an, a standard Ottoman opening. Here, here we go. Up against an easy AI... Standard, age one, concealed, no cheats allowed. Look at me, I'm not cheating right now. And I'm going to be playing on the green, and we're going to be going up against Old Faithful, the Chinese. So I'm just going to throw out what I think could be, could be a decent build order here with the Ottomans. It's hard to know, though. It's, it's very hard to know. So, all right. 
Let's begin. So we're just gonna go single scout. Move that bad boy over. So we're just doing a single scout opening here. Nice, a lot of berries in the, in here. It feels so nice to play a civilization where you don't have to like micromanage particularly hard. You know, playing coming from the Chinese, which is a civilization. Actually, can I test this out? Oh my lord, hello. Little sheep going so fast, so quick. So, yeah, coming from the Chinese, which is a civilization where you have to macro, like, every single intricate detail uh, of, of the civilization in the early game. It's so nice to play a civilization like the Ottomans, where I don't even have to think about it. So, I think, do we just do eight and four? Maybe even look for a wheelbarrow? Maybe not eight and four, maybe eight and three. Now, we're, we're going to need to take mining camp here as well. Now, you might be wondering, okay, why aren't you going for the military academy uh, in the Dark Age? Well, or the, rather the military school. Well, not only is it expensive, uh, but the military academy it, in the Dark Age, it only produces spearmen. And realistically, if you want to produce spearmen, that's fine, but just do it with a barracks. You don't need to do it with a, a military school. Uh, so my thinking is, is that you're probably going to be looking to get this in the transition period. So I've probably already stuffed up the build order here by going eight on food rather than seven on food. I feel like we're a little bit heavy on food, but that's okay. Uh, and then we need to be going over to wood. Now, to be honest, I could probably just go like this. Now, I don't think you're going to need to go for an early mill. I reckon you're probably just going to put your landmark on the berries and then use that as the mill. So we can just drop the four out there. Maybe even use these guys to go do... Oh, that straggler tree is so close, by the way. Oh my, they actually brought in the stragglers. They used to be out further. How nice are these? Oh my lord. Alright, so mining or uh, rather TC goes down. So do we do we just like do this? Do we give him one of these? I'm just gonna bring like it, it's a it's a terrible opening here, but uh Oh my god, the the colors actually look so good. Can I get you over there, please? Bro, thank you. So the, 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 there's like some key numbers that we want to hit here. We want to hit, uh, we want to hit 200 food, or rather 200 stone. Let's watch the sheep. Oh, I love it. Don't you? Don't you love that? They all just come in like that. And then you just got to move them in a little bit closer. All right. So these guys are all going to uh, do do our stone gathering. So now we're going to rally back out onto this. So we essentially want to go for two military schools with our first one completing right as we age up and our second one completing... Um, our, our second one completing shortly after we age up. So military schools are going to go on this side of the base because we'll put the blacksmith down here just for our future base building and whatnot. We've now got enough for one military school. So we just want 200 stone. So we're kind of like town center. Huh? Like getting TCs, but... Uh... Alright. Why are we bringing in so much stone? Did we start with stone? Okay, so a little bit late on, on this one. And straight away, I'm going to move villagers over onto this. Alright, 
All right, so now I also need to get my archery range up. Uh, and I also need to get a blacksmith up. So I think I've moved those villagers onto food. All right, so we're going to get this straight onto Sapahi. Straight onto Sapahi again. And we need to get that blacksmith down sooner rather than later. Now we can we can put it down here. It doesn't really matter. We can always just drop down another blacksmith later. Uh, th this, I mean, realistically, uh, could probably just be an archery range. I'm curious whether this affects existing. Let's have a look and see whether this ex affects existing um, units that are being trained. Uh, so that's got 117, 115... 14. Oh, it does. It affects existing ones. Now, you can obviously see that my macro is off completely here. Um, yeah, my, my macro is just absolutely terrible. But this is what I would suspect, like, your early game is, is probably going to be looking like. Now, it's obviously going to be dependent on, on Civ-specific matchups. If you're up against the French, then... It, it, actually, if you are going up against French, it's my theory that you might actually go for an early military school. It doesn't, it, it, it doesn't actually hurt you. Uh, especially with the recent buffs to Dark Age Spearmen, I think it could be quite good against the French. Uh, and you could look like, you could come out here, just uh, uh, harass them with a Spearman or two. You know, they age up and then you can just fall back to your base, look to defend your wood lines. Um, so yeah, look, I, I think that this is a pretty solid opening here. It takes advantage of the civilization uh, from here. I think like a, a big part of it is just going to be utilizing the, the free Sapahi that you get. And the meta. And the longer that it goes on, the better I think it is for this Civ in the Feudal Age. But that is going to be it for me. Now, obviously, we're going to do a Marleyan first look as well. Uh, so make sure you check that one out. And hey, we'll catch you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this first look.